Good day YouTube. It's a beautiful Sunday, March 31st, 2019. And uh, next weekend, next Saturday, I need to use my speaker tower for DJing a car show um, real near my shop here actually. And uh, late last year, um, it was fighting me. There are a number of safeties built into this thing that uh, some of them over the years just quit working and they were bypassed, which is really why it was taken out of service. I did some trading for this um, man lift and then created my speaker tower lift out of it. Um, and then the remaining safeties, I, there's some sort of a switch on all four corners of this thing, making sure it's real level before it allows it to go up. But uh, despite every effort, um, I can't get it uh, any more uh, level enough to go up, or the switches are failing, or something. So this morning, I thought, you know, I've got to fix this thing because I need it in six days. So it's been sitting tarped up all winter. So I've got the battery charging. It was kind of low, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I pulled this cover off of here. Um, to reveal the controls and then in the control box itself so um, this is relatively simple there are no electronics in it it is a bunch of limit switches that allow relays to function so I'm just getting into it I just have to sort it out um, and then I can probably show you what I find but here's where I think I'm at. First of all, it had a key switch um, and that's been disabled. You can see both wires are under the same terminal. So, and I don't need to key switch either. It has a push to stop, pull to start, and then a power on LED, which that works. To be able to go up, all four of these LEDs need to light. And uh, I could only get two at a time. Oh, in fact, I've only got I've got two lit now. <clears throat> anyway, there are controls in the basket for going up and down. I left those, and then I paralleled my own controls up and down, which will not work because the down will work, the up won't work because uh, <coughs> can't get all the limit switches closed. So. I neither need to do one of two things. I either need to wire across how the limit switches are terminated, and I'm gonna have to get in here and look a little bit um, and see how they're terminated if they're a just a, like a normally open switch that closes when it's level. If that's the case, I can jumper them in here. If it's something more than that, I may need to completely simplify this and take and basically rewire this to take all limits out and just allow me to raise and lower this um, at my own discretion. Uh, this thing will never go all the way up with what I put on it. It doesn't need to go all the way up. Um, doesn't need to be, you know, no risk involved. So obviously this was a dump valve. You saw this moving. This is also the manual down. Um, but I see this over here, which I think is the operator for it. I believe this is the solenoid that operates the dump here. But I could be wrong, I'm still looking into this thing. I've got a wire terminated here. And it goes up to the controller, so. Just opening this thing up, just getting started. Thought I'd make a video of it. I might remind myself one of these days what I did. But somebody else might be playing with somebody, something similar to this. Um, this is obviously a constant duty solenoid. Actually, it's not constant duty. It says it's 12 volts to 80% solenoid, which means this thing, if you left it in the energized position on the coil, um, 100% of the time, eventually it would overheat. So this is an 80% solenoid, which means it's designed to run a lot, but not always. You wouldn't want to turn this on and leave it on. This is obviously just running the, the pump. I would compare this to a starter solenoid, like a Ford or Dodge starter solenoid, 
where they're more like a you know 10 or 20 percent solenoid if you left a solenoid a starter solenoid on energize the coil for more than an hour or something i don't think it would last the hour i think it'd burn up by then but they make these solenoids that are good for about 150 amps i use them for um, rv or trailer connections when you're connecting an rv to a, a vehicle your tow vehicle with your truck or your motorhome or something and you want to charge the battery in your other vehicle your trailer your camper whatever you get a constant duty solenoid rated at 150 amps if you need more current than that then you can parallel these have multiples and then they're designed to energize the coil here forever and it will never overheat that's how they're designed this is an 80 percent which is fine um, i'm sure it has a a rating in about 100 150 amps which should be plenty plenty to run this little pump little pump pretty good size pump all right i'm gonna start digging and pulling wires and stuff i looked online for a schematic it was unsuccessful but uh these things aren't that complicated i might have to get a tablet to pencil out make some notes um, see what goes where and then we'll figure out how to bypass these four corner limit switches which were really plaguing me last year it it started off being really hard to get it level it was very embarrassing very time consuming when I'd show up somewhere try to get this thing in the air um, and was fighting it and I can't fight it anymore I've got to have this thing be able to raise when I get there and uh, not be fighting equipment um, when I show up somewhere it's embarrassing all right, I'll check back with you in a little bit. Well, gang, it really didn't take long to figure out. I'll show you how this was wired. I'll explain it to you um, in case you ever are working on a piece of equipment like this. So the safeties, um, there was a, some sort of a level eye sensor, and then there's a sensor on all four corners. And evidently how this thing was wired is basically it took the 12-volt which comes from this connection, which is directly to the battery. Um, and in this case, it's this wire, that black wire right there, make sure you're in frame. It goes up this cord and uh, goes through this fuse here. I sure hope the lighting's okay, man. I got sunglasses on, it's really bright out here today, this morning. It comes in through this, uh, key switch which right now is bypassed right because I don't need it comes back onto the bus or a terminal block they're all isolated isolated terminals um, basically you spade terminals and that's uh, where the voltage is originated and then you pick up um, here's what I did here this is the red wire that I'm using for my up down station so I pick up a 12 volt here, next, and it goes down to the buttons here. I have an up and a down, and a master stop. So the stop just kills that hot wire. That red wire that comes into here starts here and then goes to the button. So if you push the stop button, neither one will work. Back up to here. So how this was wired is it went from the hot to um, the start wire from the start wire it went down this orange wire one of them which made a loop through all of the limits this is the key this is what I needed to figure out so it runs 12 volt through that switch through that switch through this switch through this switch eventually through this switch which has already been bypassed when I got this and then back up to the other orange wire completing the circuit a lot like a you know garden tractor or something has all the seat limits and um, PTO limits and all that stuff it runs the 12 volts through all the switches so if any of the switches fail or if any of the switches are not activated it will not allow in this case this one to raise there are no limits in the lowering you always want to be able to lower it but these were the limits um, and so right now I unplugged them both off the terminal strip and I simply moved my up wire. So this is the hot and then this was the up. It doesn't really matter which one it is, but this is the up. 
and I moved it from where the limit switch is connected to um, basically to bypass them into the next hole down, which was to activate the solenoid, which was this red wire here, which goes down through here and ends up here. So it's actually very simple. Um, this battery is too far dead to actually run it up and down, but I uh, now can you can now hear the solenoid click anyway. It's this guy. And if the battery was up, it would go up. But uh, that battery's probably toast. It's a uh, a few years old. I get them at work. Um, so I'll swap that out. I have another one sitting here, so I'll swap that out. And this will be ready to go for next week, and I'm pretty happy about that because I didn't really want to spend a day on this thing. But I felt like it would be fairly simple. I also felt like there would be other equipment out there that works similar to this. It's probably wired similar to this, and you might get something out of uh, my little diagnosis this morning. So um, that's uh, good to go for this video. Um, short and sweet. I'll just swap a battery out, put that cover back on. Give it a little test run up and down and we'll be good to go hang some speakers on this thing um if you haven't seen my videos of building this trailer or how i use this trailer these are uh will mimic a speaker stand for dj speakers it'll set right on there i have some tie downs here we strap it down i put one speaker here 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 and here if i need four i can put this right in the middle of a parking lot send this thing up 15 20 feet in the air um, it has the sound gets out really good without being loud in anybody's ears um, You can really hear it like a block and a half or so away um, It works out very very good for me. So this is a good asset for me I was hoping to build another one. I thought I had a deal working on another lift that deal fell through even though I already bought the trailer for it So I'm on the hunt for another one if y'all know where there is one can't pay a lot for them But uh, you know, I usually do some trading for it so, gang, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Please hit the like button. Like my videos, it helps them get shared to other viewers. Appreciate that. We'll catch you on the next one.